It's a very Florida-oriented bill, and I think it's important. The bill has gotten a little bit of pushback from fiscal conservatives who look at uh, a lot of the deficit spending, that it would increase uh, the deficits and the national debt over time. That's been an issue that you've talked about in the past. You filed a balanced budget amendment. Why did you think it was important to support this bill at this time, given some of those concerns? There, there's a lot of people hurting in Florida, yeah. opioids, uh, you know, in terms of what's devastating a lot of our citrus crops. We have a massive damage here, Puerto Rico, Texas, California. These are all very big issues. So I just think it's the right bill. I'm going to talk in a few minutes about tax reform. I think we'll have a, a lot of momentum generated out of that. They're talking about $5 trillion of economic uh, development because of tax reform. It'll pay for a lot of this uh, bill. The tax reform, though, there, there's, some people have also questioned that that could, uh, is going to be some deficit spending. and the, between those two bills, there's really been some um, wondering about uh, whether the, the fiscal con conservative credentials in Congress, if people have abandoned those. Any thoughts on that? No, I, I'll just tell you, I really do believe we have, we've had little or no growth. 1% right. growth in economic development is $2.3 trillion over 10 years. But the tax bill, they're looking at $5 trillion. It's going to be a lot more econom economic activity, a lot more people paying the Treasury. I think it pays for both. The next uh, big issue that you guys are going to deal with, it seems like, is immigration. That's been a yeah. tough one to solve. What do you see happening with that? Well, I think the president's laid out a four-point plan. I think it makes a lot of sense. I just hope politics doesn't get in the way of this. I mean, I, I would think they would jump all over the Democrats. Right. But we need to find a way we can work together. It's been a big issue for 10 years. It's got to get resolved. And we're going to need workers going forward. So we've got to make do what we make sense from that standpoint. It seems like the basic deal would be to legalize the status of these dreamers, these young people who came here um, when, uh, you know, illegally when they were very young and have lived in the country for most of their lives in exchange for border security uh, and possibly cracking down on chain migration. Is that the basic contours of a deal that you would support? The big, the big part of it is, is, is border security. We've right. got to get some border security. A lot of people just don't have any confidence in the government. We've done uh, what we can to make sure that we minimize the illegal immigrants in the country. So as soon as there's some sense of that, I think you can talk about these other possibilities. Okay. And you're also going to talk about the tax bill uh, today. Um, you know, that's something that I think a lot of Republicans are hoping that uh, is uh, the American people are really going to respond to and is going to help in the midterm election for them. But it doesn't seem like it, it, there, you know people fully understand the bill. What are your thoughts on kind of whether this has seeped in yet? Are people really benefiting from it at this point? Uh, do you expect people to see benefits in their paychecks? I think it's going to be huge for individuals. Companies have given out a lot of bonuses, uh, a lot of money being brought back from overseas. You're going to see wages grow up, grow, grow. We've had less than, you know, one and a half percent average, one percent for 10 years. We're going backwards as a country. This is really going to spur that growth along with reducing a lot of the regulations on businesses in general. I think it's going to be an explosion personally, and I don't say that, but I, I feel very strong about what tax reform is going to mean for families, working families, their paychecks, but also for small businesses that I'm going to talk about today. Thanks, Congressman. Appreciate Thank you. your time.